See how this VRS-10 works in the rain a little bit. This is the VRS snow off, uh, VRS-10. Um, been upgraded with a uh, new spring guide, new spring piston and everything else, all metal. I'm hitting the target every time. It's almost as consistent as the infamous, infamous Navrich SSG24. But this thing has been through hell, as you can tell. It's got its little battle scars. Actually, the mount is being held together by three. Uh, Velcro ties. Screws are stripped on it. I had to take the scope, or not the scope, but the, uh, can't even think, uh, suppressor, because it kept coming loose. I need to get a screw to tighten that. But, uh, needless to say, I think it performed pretty well. Now, the question is, does it perform better than the SSG24? Let's find out. This is the SSG24 in the rain. So far, the SSG24 has... Eh, that was my bad aiming. Has a slut smoother shot to it. It's a lot more fl flux compared to the VRS-10 where you shoot it it kind of it doesn't coast as well I guess it's because the full air pressure uh, being able to uh, hold all the pressure without losing any pressure which is nice but overall this uh, this sucker is really nice had to do some modifications wasn't really happy with it when I got it but did a little work on it and as you can tell this thing is pretty accurate and if I zoom in here I don't think you can really see it too well but I'm gonna attempt to get a good view on it quit freaking adjusting there it goes I double shot that. I've cocked it back twice. Woo. It's another bad thing. There you go. Hit it again. The zoomed in shot, I don't know if you can see it too well. But needless to say, it performs pretty well to me. I think that what this has on this gun right here. The only thing this thing really has on that gun, there's two things I think that are better, and that is the release button down here. In my other video, it cut off when I was talking about that, but uh, I'm gonna go reiterate that. Um, you can see the BBs through this, which is nice, so you can see how many rounds you have left. I like the folding type the way it folds in it's really nice it holds the pressure on it the entire time so that way when you're putting your hand over here you're not hitting the button like as far as this goes if you hit the button it sometimes won't reload you have to push it in and it'll miss load and with all snipers, you gotta remember if you cock the chamber back or not, because sometimes they'll double feed. But the only beauty of this right here is even if you double double cock it back, and it does load two BBs, they go pretty much the same distance it would if it was one, which is really cool. 
I mean, maybe a little drag, but compared to this, when you shoot two BBs, it, <laughs> it doesn't go very far. But even with the 500 upgraded spring, the uh, that gun has got some accuracy to it. It is pretty much almost as accurate as the Novich. The only plus side to the Novich is the fact that you don't have to worry where you put your hands on it. You can put it anywhere without messing with the mag. You have a awesome hop-up system. This hop-up system is a lot harder to move around versus this one. This one can easily be bumped. Like you could easily move it with your hand. This one's real sturdy. That um, fluted barrel is just beautiful. I just I gotta point that out. It's just this is beautiful the way it runs. The other cool thing about the SSG24 is since it is 100% air sealed. The, it, the thing shoots a lot consistent, a lot more consistent. Like if you've got a 500 FP <laughs> spring, it's going to shoot 500 consistently, which is really nice. But uh, other than the uh, issue I had when I had it, what I had, similar issue I had was with this. This had a similar issue is where I took it apart one time and I screwed in the uh, trigger assembly too far and it went up into the... Uh, bolt and I couldn't pull it back well when I got this this was, this one I didn't even take it apart and it was that trigger assembly was screwed in too far and uh, needless to say it was ca causing the bolt to have a little bit of sh like drag and you couldn't hardly pull it back it was grinding a little bit I don't know it could have been customs that took it apart who knows I don't know either way my stuff like I said my springs my uh, like this was underneath my uh, padding and this was right here this was underneath the padding I I didn't even know it came with it at first and uh, I was kinda mad cuz it didn't come with it I thought and I was like I ordered that but you know how that goes found it later on underneath the packaging was in there but it was empty so it looked like it had been rifled through either way needless to say I fixed all the issues I had with it and it works like a beauty like the thing is easy to pull back now it's a dream come true man I've been waiting for this for far too long I haven't yet to get to I haven't got to shoot these and if anybody has shot the Novridge 4.6 uh, gram BBs I definitely would like some feedback on those other than that um, if you do get the Novridge I do recommend this specific pouch it is very very awesome in the aspect I've got six mags one in the gun and this is really nice because they fit in here just beautifully and as you can tell all five mags fit in there just perfect they're snug they don't shake around you don't have to worry about them falling out real beautiful easy easy access easy to change and then you've got your six mag here and if you need more than six mags there's something wrong with your sniping skills uh, just gotta put that out there um, I actually currently use the three uh, three twos well point three twos um, these are really nice they're biodegradable good for the planet better to be biodegradable than non biodegradable you get them all over the place um, I do recommend these these are really really nice they fly really really well um, versus the heavyweight BB's I've used 40 or uh, point forty gram BB's and they were pretty good but I honestly don't think you need the kind of that kind of weight I think three twos are just like the mid weight you do have to adjust for really heavy wind but other than heavy wind you really don't have to mess with a lot but if you uh, want me to make a video of paint jobs like I've done here and it's kind of worn down as you can tell but it has leafs it's green and uh, brown uh, I can make videos for those just let me know what you want subscribe and give me some likes